Listen, I took her to my penthouse and I freaked it. Hey, everybody, what's up? Welcome back to the game sketch. Today, and only today, we are here to talk about some Pokemon. You know, we just got finished, sort of with the Legends RC side. I mean, we're not done. I mean, the game's still hype and everything. But, you know, we, we've had the gift for a while. It's passed. And we have had the announcement of a Pokemon present. So, we're going to talk about it, what it means, all that stuff. Uh, but before that, of course, thank you all for supporting the content, the videos, and everything you've been seeing lately. If you've been enjoying it, of course, subscribe, like if you're new here. This is what I do. I just do these sort of daily or every other day sort of discussion videos about whatever whatever news is going on or all that stuff. So without further ado, let's get right into it. Right. So Pokemon. Uh, this is Pokemon Week. You know they, they've been uh, Game Freak has been leading up all week. Uh, you know with some announcements, they've had some stuff for the Pokemon Masters game. They've had stuff for their spinoffs. Um, but uh, we got the announcement of a Pokemon Presents. Now obviously those are their mini mini directs basically, um, and they're about fourteen minutes long this one is also going to be 14 minutes long but it comes with a weird caveat this summer and i want to talk about that real quick because i don't know how substantial it's going to be now the reason i say that is because look at this right let's let's look at our evidence right here so this is the you know the pokemon twitter account uh no tweet to be found in sight for this pokemon presents right but if you go to the japanese one right it's right there front and center pinned which that to me is really weird. Like, I don't know about you guys, but there's something weird about the fact that, like, the, the regular one didn't post it. Because normally, if you'd want to have, like, make this a big deal and have people promote it and stuff and, like, all that, you would have announced it on all the accounts, you know? And I think also, uh, this is on a Sunday, which, you know, is not a typical news day for video games. It is on a Sunday. Um, but, yeah, no, it's, it's weird to me that the regular Pokemon account has not tweeted about it. Because, like, if they don't tweet about it by like, I don't know, tomorrow, I'm guessing this is going to be something maybe that is purely Japan centered. I'm not sure. Again, it's just weird to me like that the main account wouldn't post, especially because the main account, I think has way more followers. Yeah, like the Japanese account has 1.5. The main one is 6.9, 6.9. Nice. You know, I mean, we're very mature. But yeah, very weird how they're treating it. But let's, let's go by both bases, right? Let's just talk generally about what we think it could be, right? First of all, I've seen people mention Gen 9, right? And here's the thing. I don't think it's Gen 9 for two reasons. First of all, like I said, I feel like if this was Gen 9, Pokemon would have been like way more pushy on the, hey, you all got to watch this presentation. Like, I feel like we would have seen this on every account. We would have seen countdowns and all this stuff. Like, I feel like building to a gen 9 is a much bigger thing uh than just like you know one account or a few accounts posting hey we're having this presents 14 minutes uh come through so i i don't think it's gen 9 and i also think like we just got legends rc so i know people say like you know one selling doesn't mean the other has to go and i just i just think that gen 9 i don't necessarily think it's too or like it's they're not gonna announce in this year i think they will probably announce it this year but maybe they're gonna do it towards you know the summer when they have usually a summer pokemon presents or maybe they'll do like a fall one where they announce what's happening with it next year because now my brain is sort of in a loop of how they're doing the release cycles for these games you know what i mean now they're always gonna have a big pokemon game in the fall they had one last year with uh brilliant diamond well they're not gonna have one every fall but whenever they do a major pokemon game they do at least one of them in the fall now again what's Really, what, wh why I think people are jumping the gun a little too much for Gen 9 is because I think, like I said, they want Legends to breathe a little bit. And I think I think it's too soon. And, and I know people are going to say, we've had basically, every three years they've announced a Gen. So, 2010, they announced Gen 5. 2013, they announced Gen 6. 2016, Gen 7. 2019, Gen 8. And now we are 2022. So, if you want to go by the history of like nearly a decade... Yeah, then it, it there's a chance it might be time, but I don't I don't know like I just I don't know how the dev team works You know, what I mean have they been has another team been working on legends while a B team has been working on Gen 9 a bit They were working together. Are they just insane? They might be insane Are they gonna maybe announce it for a next year release date sort of like they did with legends because that's a possibility I mean legends was announced in February came out a year later basically by the end of january so it's not impossible uh to get a gen 9. i just think that i feel like it's a little soon at the very least my prediction would be that like they would say like hey we are working on the next generation of 
Pokemon. You know, I feel like that's like the, the best case scenario we can see with this. But people hoping for Gen 9 might be a little too soon. But again, it's also Pokemon. They are crazy. They do have these deadlines and all these things they want to do. There is a crazy chance on the odd beat chance that they somehow announce Gen 9. And it does take a lot of the elements from Legends Arceus. And we're living in the best timeline. I'm all in, baby. You know what I mean? So... I sprayed some water on myself like a very professional person. Yeah, so that's it for Gen 9, really. Again, not too much you can say, but if they do announce it, I feel like it's either going to be a CG thing or we're going to see a glimpse of it, and they're going to be like, hey, Gen 9 now in development. I can totally see that. So, but with Pokemon, we have a million other things to talk about, right? They have so many spin-offs and so many things. It could be anything. Like I said, half of this 14-minute presentation could be, like, retrospective like they always do, right? Uh, let's talk about Possibility 2. Ports, right? It's been a while since we've had Pokemon ports. And in general, Pokemon Company has never been the best with ports, right? They always do, like, the remake on each gen of, like, a game or two. But it's very rare we just get ports. Now, on 3DS, we did get the ports of, you know, red, blue, green, and, uh, so, uh, what's it called? Silver and gold. Um, and crystal, I believe. So I think there's a chance that maybe they finally start porting just some of those old games without remakes. Um, that would be a really cool possibility. Another one that, like, this is something I'd love, but I'm not sure it's going to happen, um, is I would love a Pokemon game remade in the HD 2D engine. Like, if they made... If they made, bro, if they made gold, silver, or platinum in the HD 2D engine, oh my god, I would die. Like, that That to me is, like, the best way you could bring back the sprites. You could have a cool way to go back to the old school style. And no one would be mad. Like, if you had a remake of that old game, but you had it in that HD 2D style and everything, it would look fucking incredible. And I don't think anyone would be upset to see, like, the HD sprites and stuff like that. So, that would be a really cool thing. But ports in general, I would just love more of, you know, whether it's, like, Pokemon Colosseum or some of the older mainline games or some of the more or older, like, you know, spin-off games. Just, we, we have a very big lack of Pokemon ports. It's not really easy to play a lot of the old Pokemon games, you know, unless you emulate or go back to old hardware. So, I'd like a bit more accessibility on that front. Another thing I think they're gonna announce is the compatibility of Pokemon Home with the Diamond and Pearl and Legends Arceus, and of course we're going to talk about Legends Arceus, which we might as well do right now, because if they're introducing Pokemon Home compatibility, then there's a chance that we get some new Pokemon, which tells me Legends DLC. So, this to me feels like the most obvious, but also maybe too soon, right? Because the game just came out, we don't know if they want to announce DLC right away, but... I don't mind if they do, you know, I wouldn't mind if, hey, they show Legend of is like, thank you, we've had so far, I don't know, 10, it's probably by this point 10 million, or almost there, it'll probably be like, we've had between 8 to 10 million new trainers exploring, and we've heard you love this world, and we've heard you, so we're gonna see like a teaser, and I think they'll do what they did with Gen A, which is like, tease two expansions, you know, one that's gonna come in the summer, and one that's gonna come in the fall, and it'll be like, here's, each one will have a new region to explore, with new Pokemon to find, um, and I think that'll be, like, the big push, I think Legend of Arceus has so much life to it, there's so much you can do with it, they would have to make a separate sort of Pokedex, because you do need every Pokemon to get to the final boss, and you don't want it to be a thing where, like, suddenly you have to get 300 Pokemon to get to the true ending of the game, so, that will be really cool, but yeah, no, I, I could see Legends DLC, it's, with that game, it's so easy, I mean, not easy, but like, an easy idea to wrap around, like, you know, you make a new area, you put a new Pokemon in there, you put some new side quests, which they have in the game, and you put a new story, some legendaries, and boom, you're good, so, that would be really cool, maybe give me some new Hisuian forms, uh, and I'd be totally down for that, so, please, give me more Legends Arceus, I love that game, any excuse to play more of it, I will take just like I like taking a sip of water mid-video. Mid um, but yeah, so that's what I want from Legends of Arceus. Now, in terms of the other spin-offs, right? There's so many possibilities with Pokemon. This is where we get into just like, it could be anything, right? So, the most boring answer is, oh, Pokemon Sleep. Which is that mobile game they announced like a few years ago now that it just disappeared. Now, I pray this isn't here because I do not want to wake up on a Sunday morning at 9 a.m. Uh, to hear anything about Pokemon Sleep. So I would rather that is not the case. So I'd rather not that. I'd rather just not a mobile game in general, right? They might announce me some more Pokemon Unite DLC, you know, talk about how the game is doing well, adding more characters, all that stuff. That would be really cool in there. But, uh, and of course, another game that was announced a few years ago that we might see, po uh, Pokemon Detective 
Pikachu, right? This was the Switch version of the game that they had announced a long time ago, and we don't know the fate of it. I saw maybe, I saw recently there was like a, a rumor or a thing about like a job listing that had it mentioned, so maybe it isn't scrapped. I, I doubt it's scrapped. I feel like maybe they're just going to put it out and it's not going to be maybe a big deal, but yeah, I could totally see them showing that Pokemon Detective Pikachu game um, that they had like promised, like, well, they didn't promise. I mean, I mean technically, if you are not to give me promise, whatever. Point is, they could end up showing that, maybe show what kind of features it has, show us a bit of a gameplay show. That would be really cool. Um, we could also, another possibility is we get a po another Pokemon Mystery Dungeon remake. The first one did really well, which is the remake of the GBA game. Uh, they could do the one people really want really badly, which is Explorers of Sky which would be really dope that game i remember it being really fun i don't remember too much of it because it's been so long it's not a game i've ever gone back and replayed but i remember enjoying it back then and a lot of people a lot of people love that game so and i think the remake of uh, mystery dungeon sold like what's it called uh i think it sold like two million copies or some shit so it did really well uh pokemon snap i would love more content for it i doubt it i feel like we're done with it it's it's been a little while since their last content job so i feel like it's done for now but i really did love pokemon snap so i'm just i'm just happy that game exists um pokken 2 um listen i know there won't be a pokken 2 anytime soon but to me the idea and potential of another pokemon fighting game please bro please whether you make it fully 3d or whether you make it 2d or you continue it I i'm down for more pokemon honestly you know i'm down for more pokemon reveal i'm down for more matches i'm down for more hype like i just like fighting games in general i like the energy that they bring and all that stuff so give me something with pokemon that would be really cool tease that you're making a new one or something i don't know i feel like pokemon was beloved enough and sold enough to warrant a sequel uh and i feel like most fighting games deserve a sequel just so you can refine the mechanics and gameplay stuff so please that would be really dope you know there's a bunch of other things you know there's stuff like pokemon rangers a pokemon coliseum would be super dope like pokemon coliseum or coliseum dx or no sorry pokemon dx gale of darkness those were gamecube games they were sort of these 3d adventure pokemon games they were sort of like what modern pokemon is before modern pokemon is where it is um so that would be really cool i've seen a lot of people recently speculate um that there could be a new pokemon stadium and what this pokemon stadium game would serve to do would be a the new competitive multiplayer style of pokemon you know that way they don't have to deal with each game having different balance and rules what they would do is they would have this one game you know pokemon stadium modern or whatever and that's where people can have like their their competitive multiplayer player where the rules update and all that stuff i feel like that to me seems like the smarter thing to do you bring back old fans by having pokemon stadium you know you can do the mini games people really love but i think pokemon stadium would just to me be a really smart marketing thing for like you know old school fans and you could also have new people or like the general people that love competitive pokemon matches against each other that could be the hub world for that you know keep maybe keep the mainline games with co-op in mind and then do the competitive fights in this game because dude oh my god even talk about this legend rc's if one of i would love if one of the dlc areas was a co-op one because they experimented with it in sword and shield but the idea that there's one unique open area in legends rc's where you could go around both of you like collecting pokemon together and stuff that sounds awesome to me and all your pokemon can hang out at the same time that would be sick i would love something like that uh but yeah so a pokemon stadium that would become the official hub of multiplayer pokemon would be hella dope right uh so i'd love that uh what if they give us a new pokemon spin up i mean it's been a long time I'm trying to think what was the last like genuine new pokemon spin up because we had i guess it was pokemon pokemon and, and detective pikachu it's true so it hasn't been too long but yeah i wonder if they're just gonna go the route of just a brand new pokemon so i guess they did unite too never mind that they, they do pokemon fucking spin offs all the time what am i talking about um but yeah no i, I hope they make either something new give us a sequel to something we haven't seen in a long time uh again with pokemon it's almost hard to speculate because it could literally be anything you know it could be another hd remake it could be gen 9 it could be legends dlc it could be a new spin-off an old spin-off it could be a port it could be anything either way um there's gonna be something here but again i'm just my, i'm still just really confused on why the main pokemon account hasn't tweeted about it to me something's off there i don't know it, it that's why for now, I'm going into this with very low expectations. If I'm surprised, I'm surprised. If not, I guess we'll find out. You know, we'll, I'll give it till tomorrow to see if the main account tweets about it. If they don't, 
Hmm, we'll find out. So, guys, let me know what you guys think is going to happen in this Pokemon Presents. Remember, it happens on Sunday. There is a 50% chance I will live react to it. It is 9 a.m. on a Sunday morning, which is like both of my mortal enemies uh so we'll see if we do that but if i end up doing it of course you'll see the reaction of the year so guys thank you all for watching let me know what you guys want to see what you think we're gonna see and of course i'll see you all next time peace out Sab. i love you Bye.